Very well, welcome to Clan Life Fan TV. My name is Cal York. I'm joined tonight by a clan legend, uh, Matt Keith. How are you doing, Matt? Okay? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm great. What's the weather like in Canada? Uh, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, we've had yeah. Uh, good weather for probably the last month now, so so it's good. Right. I'm just in a, off a night out here with a few friends, so I think I was sitting a bit close to the sun, so I'm a bit looking a bit like a lobster. <laughs> tonight but it's probably not as warm as Canada for sure yeah. but yeah, as I say thank you for taking the time to, to catch up with us. I just wanted to have a chat around the new clan head coach Jason Morgan who I know you're very much aware of but first of all just want to ask what you've been up to since you've been leaving the clan from a, a work side and a, and a hockey side. Uh, well I guess it's been uh, six years now so um, a lot's happened. Uh, when I first stopped playing I uh, started working right away, uh, delivering uh, beer for a beer company. Right. And, uh, and that was good. It was a good steady job. And, and I stayed involved in hockey just with, with uh, coaching a little bit on the side um, to try and stay involved. And then uh, uh, four and a half years ago, I got hired by the fire department uh, in the next town over from us. So nice. that was kind of a, kind of a dream job of mine. And, and uh, you know, it might not be for everybody, but it's, it's certainly, you know, I love it. It's, it, there hasn't been a bad day yet, so um, that's been awesome. And and uh, now that with the schedule, it's allowed me to be more involved in coaching, um, kind of with with kids 12, 13, 14 years old. So uh, this year, I was uh, an assistant coach for an academy team, right. um, and now I'm coaching a couple teams in the spring league, which uh, we're in the middle of the last tournament right now. So just getting ready to head in for another game. Bro, you say how often are you on the ice? Generally, each week. Uh usually probably four or five times. Yeah, it just depends. Through the spring, it's probably, you know, more eight to ten times, but uh, it's a busy time. There's quite a lot of teams, and I'm uh, head coaching one team, assistant coaching another team, so um, there's a lot to, a lot of work to go around anyway, so it, it's been good, but you know what? I really enjoy it. I, it's it's fun, you know, when I, when I first stopped, I was doing more of, like, development stuff, so you'd see kids, and yeah. then, they, then they'd take off. Now, you know, with being with a team for uh, – uh, since September till now, you get to see, you know, the progression and you get to see how how far they've come. And, and that's something that I really enjoyed. When you get to work on systems and you're doing power play, penalty kill, breakouts and stuff like that, it's that's kind of what interests me. And then and then for the spring, it's it's a short season. It's 10 weeks. But um, right. the team I'm head coaching right now is is it's they're going into body contact for the first time next year. So it's right. new. Okay. It's new for a lot of them. Right. So we've been working a lot on on. Uh, just getting them ready for that. And, and it's not so much being able to give a hit, but it's being able to play hockey while, while there's hitting going on. Right. And, and to protect yeah. yourself and, and to do things at a higher speed to, to keep yourself out of trouble. So it's been good. It's been a learning experience for me too, but um, I'm really enjoying it and, and uh, passionate about it. So it's been fun. Right. And big changes from professional when you were at the clan and any particular favorite memories from your days at the clan? You know what? I think, uh, you know, I, I, I just did a uh, interview thing with with Craig Anderson today, and and he kind of asked me and um, just a couple of questions like that. And it's hard to pinpoint anything in particular. I think, yeah. to be honest, um, we enjoyed our three years there. Probably the third year for us, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't play as well um, as I could have, so it was kind of hard uh, from that regard. Um, the team we we didn't play as well as a team. Obviously, the first two years, just so many great memories with with that drive uh, in the first year to, to trying to win the league and, and losing yeah. it in the, in the last week. And then the second year getting the champions league and, and um, you know, that it, those are all good memories, right? So uh, we yeah, met a lot of good, a lot of good people, not just within the team, but a lot of people there that, that we still keep in touch with. And um, I think probably the biggest takeaway I can, I can say from there is, is we loved it there. We loved the city. We loved the team. We were, we got treated very well, you know, as did all the guys that were there and, and, um, you know the wives. A lot of the wives still keep in touch, and and uh, from time to time, and and it was a, it was a real um, feeling of like a, a team and, and a family, and and that's what uh, what I liked the most about it, anyways. Yeah, I mean we had a retro night uh, recently. You probably saw it on social media where we came back as the Bray Head Clan to go on the five flyers, and it was all the old uh, chants. Obviously, your chant here at the start of the game as well. So, is that special memories when you see these kind of things? Yeah, for sure. I mean, and I, I, uh, I, I follow along like I can on Twitter and there's a few people there that I, that I still keep in touch with and, you know, still have a good relationship with, with Gareth and, and Jerry McLaughlin and, and, uh, 
you know, so you kind of hear things um, through them a little bit. And then obviously if you follow on Twitter, as you know, it was a, a tough couple of years, yeah. uh, certainly. And, and you hate to see it, but um, yeah, it's, it's, you know what, there's so many good little memories like that. Like, yeah, that chant before a game and, you know, just kind of, I never ever thought that that would even be a thing. And then it was just, <laughs> It was awesome for me, right? It was it was great, and and uh, you know, and all the chants, right? You hear Stefan Meyer's chant and yeah. Matt Haywood's chant, and it's just yeah, it's it's uh, that's what makes it so special to play there. Yeah, definitely. And certainly, the fans have, have not forgotten that. That's for sure. So that moves us probably nicely on to Jason Morgan. So announced as the new head coach of the Glasgow Clan and the director of hockey operations as well. I believe you first went into contact with Jason, maybe at the Blackhawks and North Fork Ad- Admirals, would I be right in saying that? So what's yeah. your first your first sort of time meeting up with Jason? What was your thoughts? Well, he was he was right away. Um, he was just a guy that kind of, he got traded to us uh, kind of towards, you know, right around the trade deadline. And, and uh, he came in, obviously, you could look at his resume and you knew where he played. Um, mm. You knew the type of player he was. Uh you know, he was a very hard nosed player. He played hard, but he, but he had skill. Um, he was just an all, just an all round good player, but a better person. And he kind of submerged himself. We, we had a really young team. I think we had 13 or 14 rookies that year. Um, we had a really strong leadership group. Uh, our head coach was Trent Yanni and he was the only coach. We didn't have an assistant coach at the time. Right. Um, so he relied a lot on, on that leadership group and, and Morgie kind of just stepped right in and, and uh, he was, he was a good guy um to have as a teammate in the dressing room but even away from the rink too you knew had he had been through a lot um he had played in in different leagues he played in the nhl he he had 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 gone through a lot at that point already in his career where you could really lean on him and and uh, whether he knew it or not you know he was definitely a guy that i looked up to that that uh just the way he carried himself the way that he you know he was he was a true professional in the sense that he took care of himself um yeah he took care of his game um, but he cared a lot about everybody else on the team and, and was always one of the guys that, that would be the guy kind of organizing a, a dinner on the road or getting, getting guys together, make sure nobody was being left out. So yeah, he's, uh, that was kind of my first impression and, and, um, you know, I, I don't think too much has changed for him since. Yeah. I mean, I suppose that's important, Matt. I mean, you, the days of Ryan Finerty and obviously, you know, your first couple of seasons of the clan where we, we almost won the league with the CHL, you know, it looked like from the outside looking in a really tight group of players and, and obviously the coach is a big part of that. So how important is it to have that sort of bond from the coach it's, within the yeah, dressing room? It's it's really big. And I think that um you kind of knew right away and, and, and like I said, they were they were great to Chelsea and I uh in, in Glasgow as soon as we got there. But you know, you got the feeling right away from Gareth and from Finner that that it was a team uh atmosphere and, and you know possibly if it, it was possibly you know a smaller team than what guys maybe who had played in in europe before or coming from north america maybe it wasn't as big but they they did everything they could to to make sure that everybody was comfortable and everybody was happy um and it didn't matter you know what what your name was on the back we were all playing for the for for the brayhead clan and, and that was yeah. something you know and i i truly believe that that starts at the top right with the coach and and gareth at the time and um, you know, and that just kind of trickle down and you, and you look at back at those rosters and the, the guys we had, right. With, with Chris Frank and Scott Arson and Fitzy and, you know, then yeah. Jamie Fritch comes in and then, you know, uh, Kyle Jones and, and, and then Stefan Meyer comes in and, and, um, all the way through, right. With, with, uh, Derek rail and, and those guys, um, everybody was proud to be there and be a part of the clan. And that's why I think that you, saw a lot of guys if they left after they wanted to come back because they, yeah. they realized you know how, how good of a place it was right and, and um and yeah to answer your question I, I do think it comes from up top and and, and uh, uh, having strong leadership and somebody who can create that culture is very important yeah so jason morgan coming in i mean what do you think he's the kind of guy that can recreate that kind of atmosphere in the dressing room i do i i do and, and i think um you know, it's funny because uh, Gareth had asked me the other day if I could make a little video for uh, when when Jason got hired, and and uh, yeah. and of course I did. And it's it's funny the first comment that goes up, somebody commented said how awkward it was, and and you know I've kind of gotten to the point where Chelsea will laugh at me because I just like <laughs> it's very hard to sit and talk into 
something you're recording yourself, right? So yeah. I always just go upstairs or I go somewhere else in the house and I, I've gotten to the point now where I just record it once and whatever, I just, just send it because it is, it is awkward. Right. So, but you know, I, it, it makes me laugh because, um, you know, it has been six years and it wasn't necessarily like, uh, when we were there, um, we had good teams. We didn't, unfortunately, we didn't win anything, but you have such a pride in, in the team. And now with, yeah. with Jason, you know, the excitement that I'm seeing from like the new ownership coming in and now Jason, who I know well, and, and I know the type of person he is, you know, you, that pride kind of just comes back and, right. and, uh, and I'm very excited for him. And I think that he is the type of person, um, that will be able to create that culture and he will have a, in my eyes, he's going to have a strong relationship with not only, um, upper management, um, but with the players and their, and their families. And, and then also too, which is, which is, I believe massive, especially there is with the, the OSC and, and the, and the yeah. supporters and, and, um, they do so much for the team. And I think Jason's going to be the kind of guy that, that he will appreciate that. Um, and he will make every effort to, to make sure, because those are some of the funnest times too, when you, you know, when you go to the, like the OSC nights or you have the, yeah. the, the pub nights or the dances or whatever, wherever, whatever it was, um, that's where you really get to know people and, and they get to know you. And, and I think that it's important. And I think Jason's, he is that type of person where, where he will, um, you know, he'll thrive with that and, and make sure that, you know, the guys he's bringing in are, are all on, on board with, with that kind of culture. Yeah. I mean, you, you said earlier, Matt, he's very much a, a team player. I mean, what kind of style do you think he'll bring to the clan? Always with thinner, it was quite an aggressive, it's a blue collar style. Um, what kind of hockey do you think we could expect to see? Well, I mean, it's it's hard because I I I, I haven't I talked to him about like what his coaching style is or or yeah. or what um, you know I know the way he played. Uh, he was very detail oriented. Um, he played the game. You know, I guess it's an old saying, but he played the game the right way. Yeah. Hard nose, north south. Um, he wasn't afraid to to fight. He wasn't afraid to stand up for people and and uh and i i think that you know judging by just jason i know as the player or the the person i think that you're going to have a very hard working team you know a team committed to playing at both ends of the ice and and uh and i think that you know with recruitment um you know he's he's ha had a lot of success you know in other parts of europe and i wouldn't be surprised if you know, if, if he brings players he knows or he's coached against or, you know, and, and guys that guys yeah, want to yeah. follow him around because, you know, I know that um, like even uh, Jerry was saying that Alex Levitt had texted him and said that's a great hire because Al Alex played with him uh, back in North America. And so it's good that that people who have played with him before know how he is. And, and, and now, you know, you hope that guys that have played for him um, are willing to do the same thing and, and jump on board. And I think that's a good way to to create, you know, bring in your identity and, and, uh, and have a successful, successful team. Yeah. I mean, he's got a, a long career in the game as well as playing. He's obviously had a bit of success coaching and he's traveled around, you know, various countries, uh, I think Germany being the last. So he surely by doing that, he'll know players or, or know of players, which I think is important. And hopefully with the clan, there's a lot of positivity Certainly around the club after they take over the new ownership. Certainly season tickets went on suit sale yesterday and 750 sold out within a few hours. So there's a lot wow. of positivity uh, about the clan, which is great to see after last season, which was a really tough season for everybody, I think, involved with the clan. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully Jason can take that on. So how much do you think he'll know about the EIHL? Because obviously he's not coached here. Do you not think that really matters too much? Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it matters. I think that he's probably he probably knows a lot of the players that have been in the league. Um, okay. Obviously, if if uh, he's been, you know, if he if, if he's applying for a job in that league, he's going to have done his homework. Um, you know, have to only assume that his interview went very well. Uh, they yeah. would have asked him questions about the league. They would have. I'm, I'm assuming that that. Um, and I think that he is the type of guy he's, he's going to be a hardworking guy. He would have done his research and, and he's going to know. And, and at the end of the day, hockey's hockey. Um, if, you know, if your systems work one place, they're, they're going to work somewhere else. Um, yeah. it's up to just having the right personnel and, and, uh, you know, if, if it is a little bit different, what I, what I, I can't imagine it's going to be that much different than, than what he's already coached or played. Um, 
you know, he'll, he'll be able to adapt. And, and uh, just by knowing the type of player he was, I, I have a feeling he'll coach the exact same way. Yeah, you do notice a few, it's, it's a small world hockey, isn't it really? So you, if you look at some of the previous rosters and you see players that have, have played at the clan before and other guys from the league. So I'm sure, as you say, he'll have done his homework and he'll have connections mm-hmm. there to take advantage. And hopefully with a bigger budget with new owners, hopefully there's a bit more money coming in and, Obviously, with fans buying more season tickets, that helps as well. That will help us improve on, on the ice. So, mm. um, it was great to catch up with you. I mean, do you have a, a final message for the Purple Army? No, I just, you know, well, I mean, I, I think that um, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for everybody involved there and, and uh, the management and the, obviously Morgie and, and the fans. And, and I think that, um, you know, this is an exciting time and, and uh, you know, like I said, I'm over here. I have no idea of really what exactly is going on, and um, but that's in the past now. And and hopefully, yeah. you know, I'm just very hopeful that uh, that the product and the the organization can get back to to how I how I know it, and and hopefully that um, you know can bring some championships and and get the get the city what they deserve. Yeah, and hopefully you can see you back at Brayhead Arena one day soon. Yeah, for sure, for sure, that'd be fun. Great. I really appreciate your time, Matt. Thanks for taking time to speak to me tonight and hopefully catch up with you soon. Great. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.